It's just completely normal that I'm doing a video with a crystal crown on my head. Hi guys, so I'm, I'm back. I got a lot of requests from people sort of asking me about my love of crystals and to explain a little bit why I love them. You know, people buy bags and shoes. I tend to go to the crystal store. I might have like two inch of crystals in this house, as you can tell. The using crystals or working with crystals is a very personal thing that you kind of work out for yourself. There's certain basic things you can do, such as wearing one. Like this is a Kunzite crystal that Jackie H, one of my favorite jewelry designers, has that I bought from her. And this one in particular is just really nice and comforting, so I wear it always sort of on my body working with me. And a lot of other people use them while in meditation. I put a lot by my bed for when I'm sleeping and dreams and people like to have them in their pockets. It's completely up to you, but I will say you kind of will know. You know, they pick this crystal out and they like it and, and sometimes they, they want to hold it in their pocket, they want to hold it in their hand, make a necklace out of it, but you kind of just know and there's really no right, no wrong way to do it. I always say everyone should have a rose quartz. <laughs> This is like, this is obviously, you know, one you can put in your pocket or your purse, or sometimes if you're just laying down, like kind of keep it on your heart chakra, but it's good for opening your heart, healing your heart. Like it just is very soothing. A big thing I like to do, and I, I say this all the time, is I do these baths at night where I pour tons of sea salt in, I put some oils in there, and then I put crystals in there. And one of that I always have is this rose quartz crystal in the bath because it just raises the whole, Vibration of the bath makes you feel lots of loving thoughts about yourself. So this is a really good, it's like the stone of grace. This is lapis lazuli. And one, I love this. I found this one that was really special, but I like it because it's in the shape of a heart and it looks like it's ascending upwards. And I said, that's really pretty. And it has these gold flecks in it. But this is a really cool stone because it's very magical. And I work with this one a lot. It's also really good for communication. So I used to, have a small, small version of this that I would carry in my pocket for meetings and auditions and things like that. Okay, smoky quartz. This is a real, I don't know if you can see, this is really pretty, but there's lots of, you know, little markings inside and it's sort of a, a darker color quartz, but this is an excellent stone for protection, for grounding. Uh, in detoxification. So a lot of times I put this by the side of my bed or across from my bed just for energetic protection. Flying can really take it out of me. So I, I load my pockets up with smoky quartz. Trust me, I get, I go through the security and <laughs> people do the wanding and they're like, what's in your pockets? What are all the stuff? And I pull out, I'm like, it's crystals. And they're like, okay, LA girl, just walk on by. But I promise you, maybe it's in my mind, but I feel a big difference when I do that. So little hippie trick. The selenite is another one that I love. I have this in a lot of different places in my house. Selenite is the only crystal that doesn't need to be cleansed. So a lot of these crystals, you, you need to cleanse their energy from time to time because they're, they're taking on some, they're detoxifying you. So I put them out under the full moon or you can put them in a big sort of bowl of salt and the salt will sort of cleanse these crystals, but these don't need to and they charge everything else. Selenite's just like overall awesome. What else do I love? I also, this was given to me by one of my best friends. I'm pretty sure this is titanium or a quartz. Crystals are one of those things that's always really nice to get a gift of it because it's just, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic gift to give someone. But this was given to me by somebody who's a Reiki master and so she charged it with her Reiki energy and um, it's magical. It's also like a very high vibration stone, connects you to your communication. I trap, this thing's heavy and I travel with this people. So, I mean, I bring this to my hotel rooms, I put it by my bed. I just really love this one. I have a very strong attachment to that one. So, one of my favorites. And then I have these two little ones that I found kind of recently. This is Labradite. Labradite, I would say, is my favorite crystal. It's sort of, it's the most protective stone. It's of all the stones in the mineral kingdom, is what they say, but I love it. And you kind of can't see, but it has like, looks like little rainbows inside. And it's small, so I take this with me and I put it just with me in my pocket. Now this is an opal, really beautiful, but I found this opal too, and this one is one of my favorites as well. I'm gonna make a ring out of this, or I'm gonna probably call Jackie and have her make a necklace or a ring out of this, but it's so beautiful. I think opals are possibly 
even more beautiful than diamonds to me. So those are my favorites. I have so many though. I mean, and by the way, let me explain this crown that I have in my hand. This is titanium, so this is the same, but obviously different color, but titanium or a quartz as well. This is actually just really cute. I mean, I've taken many pictures in this, but should you really wear a crystal crown, this will open your crown chakra. I find crystals to be one of the best ways I have found to stay connected to the earth and to our universe and just nature in general. And, and they're beautiful and I think they're gorgeous in the house and I work with them and I've, I notice a big difference. If there's any skeptics out there as well who sort of think this is all crazy, I understand. But I would wonder if you just, you know, had one piece of rose quartz and you sort of carried it with you while you traveled or used it. I mean, it's, it can be kind of a bit of a totem too. A lot of people just like to have something that they travel with that makes them feel comforted. I'd be curious if you noticed a difference. But that's it. Enjoy, and I'll be coming with more. Bye.